When I was five years old, I was convinced that there were monsters under my bed. I just knew that there were monsters under my bed. And my mom tried forever to convince me it wasn't true. But I didn't believe her. I knew they were there. I saw them, right? I'd have to jump off the bed. The floor was lava. You got to jump off the bed, make sure you get far enough. During the day, they hid in the closet or they were in a basement. I wasn't going down there either. So my mom, being first generation American, she said, look, there's no such thing as monsters. But if you believe it, I know this monster potion that we can use to take these monsters away. So she, off to the kitchen we go, and in a mason jar, she puts a little white wine vinegar. She puts a little balsamic vinegar. A little bit of garlic, lemon peel. I had, to, I had to take the lemon off the peel. I had to squeeze the lemon in there, and I had to run the rim, the lemon peel around the rim. I mean, I don't know, I was making martinis at that point. I didn't know what I was doing. Put some cheese, some garlic. She held it, you know, she closed it up. She said some words in Italian. And she gave me strict instructions. She said, Chris, every night before you go to bed, you need to turn the jar away from you four times. And then you need to put it at the right corner of your bed. And if you woke up in the morning and the levels were separated, they kept the monsters away. So I would go and do this. But there was a couple things I realized as I got older now. My mom wasn't exactly honest with me. And that monster potion really came out to be a great salad dressing, by the way. So please, you know, give it a shot. But she wasn't exactly honest, because there were monsters under my bed. And just like when I was five years old, I put them there. And these monsters came with names. They were called uncertainty. They were called stress, worry, unhappiness. Guilt. Have these monsters ever visited your house at 2 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday? Six hours before the big presentation? Maybe you've drifted off to sleep, but don't worry. They'll be back again tomorrow and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Because what it seems to do is we're putting these monsters under our bed. We're the ones that are inviting these monsters into our home. Oh, there's one more thing. I realized that my mom wasn't truthful about. You can swim before 30 minutes at the beach after you eat. Right? One guy. Thank you very much, sir. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs>